Would you rather pay $650 or $66 for a smartphone? Simple. With the Appalachian Advantage plan, pay less up front and then just a few dollars more every month. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. We all have struggles in life that we must face, no matter how big or small they may be. But no one should ever worry when their next meal will be or if they are able to provide everyday necessities for their children or themselves. Food City has partnered with Grace Fellowship Church to create a different way to help out those who struggle with these problems in our community. Back in the winter, we had someone come by and write on our board, never no food. I took a picture of that and that just kind of went viral locally because many people come by the blessing box. It's empty because there are so many people that come by. We can't be inside and, and stalk it continuously. And so I know a lot of people when they come by, they feel like that it's, there's never any food in there, but it really isn't true. And so it was through that event that happened in a conversation with uh, Tony Tackett and Tim Collins that sparked the idea of the Blessing Buggy and it was really more of a collaboration I think between Tony and primarily Tim. Anyone who shops at Food City, either Food City location or the Super Dollar where we have Blessing Buggies, fortunately in all three locations can purchase items that go into the Blessing Box and some of the items that are really primarily needed are any kinds of soups, uh, really pop top cans, we try not to put anything that's glass or perishable inside the blessing, uh, blessing box. But peanut butter, uh, jelly, you know, anything, any kind of uh, soup, uh, cans of tuna, chicken, uh, especially the spaghetti meatballs, you know, raviolis, all those kinds of dinners, mac and cheese, ramen noodles, anything really that you can make a meal out of. Uh, can go inside the blessing box other than being perishable or glass. Some of the most requested items that we have for the blessing uh, box in addition to food are sh shampoo, toothpaste, uh, toothbrushes, soap, deodorant, especially laundry detergent and dryer sheets. Those things are so expensive. As a matter of fact, I had someone come by not too long ago looking for uh, fat, uh, laundry detergent in the blessing box and the lady made the comment that she had washed uh, her children's jeans out with shampoo. And so I know that there's a real need and it is expensive and anyone wants to buy items like that and they would be tremendously appreciated. Purchasing items to donate is very convenient since the buggy is located in the store. This just makes it more convenient for them to be able to come in, buy the groceries here, drop it off in the buggy and the woman, Debbie, Debbie Bay that we partnered with her. She comes, she picks it up once the buggy's full and then delivers it out to the blessing boxes to help out the community. Mostly canned foods. We got macaroni, four pack macaronis that just needs to be warmed up and stuff. It's just, it's just a wonderful feeling. Me and once I finally got into the store here, I'm getting up in the system manager, I'm joining a lot more community and it is, I love being able to get out and help people. And it is a wonderful feeling and I'm glad that it can help people out. I'd like to encourage anyone who wants to help in any way in our community uh, to please purchase something, put it in the blessing buggy, or you can come by uh, down one of the blessing boxes and just put something inside. It, you, you may feel like the one little thing or the two little things or the handful of things that you can bring don't make a difference. But the truth is when you add your handful and someone else adds their handful and someone else adds theirs, Collectively, we can make a huge impact in helping the need in our community. So never think that the one thing that you can do doesn't matter. It all matters.